Hello, fellow island riders. Glad to see you again. Happy Friday, by the way. Um, it is actually the first Friday of the month <laughs> instead of the last Friday of the month. Normally, I do these channel update things at the last Friday of every month just to kind of connect us a little bit because, you know, my videos, they get a little bit, you know, filmed quite a ways in the head. So this gives us a chance to kind of reconnect and give you an update of a little bit about what's coming down the pipe for the channel and a little bit about what I'm kind of working on in the and, you know, in the meantime, a little bit, just so we can stay on the same level a little. But yes, it is uh, the first Friday of December. So believe it or not, we are totally in the off season now. The old Silver Fox is in here in the garage. He's all warmed up here and ready for a little bit of maintenance, ready for a little bit of that <laughs> off season tinkering that I tend to do, that we all tend to do. Because, you know, the off season is a nice time. You know, it's a time to kind of cherish a little bit where we get to slow down into the slumber of the winter and get to get a little bit cozy next to the fire and get all those little things ticked off the, the to-do list as far as maintenance is concerned, as far as tinkering is concerned, as far as new mods are concerned. And while I don't have a lot of two new mods for, you know, this season lined up, I do have a lot of maintenance that I want to do, which brings up a little bit about the approach that we have here for the off-season at Island ADB. Um, it's, it, for those of you who have been here for quite a while, you kind of know that our off season is more than our on season, realistically speaking, because I do every once in a while, I've thrown up, you know, bonus videos on Fridays. Now I don't have a big schedule set up for bonus videos this year, um, but I do have some plans and I do have some things that I want to share with you, especially some stuff that I want to share with you, um, today on today's video here too. One thing I really wanted to pass on to you last season that I forgot to do. So I'm going to update you on that it has to do with the battery and getting the bike ready for the off season. So um, why don't we get started right there? Actually, that's probably a good bet. Let me get this thing torn apart a little bit and we'll take, I'll show you what I'm talking about here. All right, let's get at that old battery here. So, what do we need? old number eight, huh? Look at all the mud. <laughs> Sign of a great season, right? There we go. All right, so I got the battery out of here now and I still have the actual stock battery for the KLR 650, an AGM battery here. And the thing with these batteries is, is that before you put it on whatever your system you're gonna use to tidy the battery over the winter to kind of maintain its charge and keep it healthy, you wanna actually water it, <laughs> kind of like a plant. Because each um, one of the cells in here does have its own individual reservoir, and that reservoir needs to be topped up with uh, deionized water. So, uh, what is it? This stuff like that here. And you can buy this, you use it in your, your radiator too if you want um, to help flush it out as well. But uh, that's what I use, that's what I've been using, it, and I'm like, you know, year four with the KLR on the same battery. And the only time I've had like, you know, battery problems is because I haven't had this thing topped up, you know, and uh, there's a lot of times where I've not paid attention to it. <laughs> it's kind of boiled itself down. So it doesn't have any of that nice water there to make sure that the charge can stay up. So one of the things that you can do is you can look at the top of this and you can see that each one of the cells has an individual plug for it. And you can remove these plugs just using like a little piece of plier here, like some pliers. And you just pop that guy off. And then you can use a funnel and then you can put some of that deionized water in to bring it back up to the top. Now, if you're having trouble kind of relating to what I'm talking about here, most of you guys probably already know this anyway, but you can see if you just take a flashlight and you put it on the back, it's a little harder to see, but you can see the individual ones right there, right? Kind of neat, eh? And if you're looking for the level, the level that you want to have is going to be right in between these two lines. You don't want it to be all the way to the bottom. You don't want it to be all the way to the top because as this thing heats up a little bit, the water does, you know, the level does move around a little bit. And to tell which ones need water, you just kind of look at it and you'll be able to see which reservoirs are a little bit darker than the other. So I can looking at this one right now and I can tell that this middle one here is going to need some water. 
So what I'll do later on during my battery maintenance is I'll pull that plug and I'll put some water in there until it's up to the right level and then we'll be good to go. And that'll officially kick off the maintenance portion of my off season. And my off season, you know, it's filled with a lot of stuff like that. I, I tinker with the bike a little bit, but I get into the really cool hobbies and stuff like that. I have all sorts of hobbies. And like I mentioned here too, eventually I'll get super bored of those and I'll start filming again and we'll have some bonus videos to share with you too on the Fridays as we go through this winter together. Anyway, um, that's pretty much what I wanted to show you with the battery. So check on that before you tidy your battery up, take a look at the levels of the water in there. See if you need to top the water up. Um, and definitely do that because that'll save you some heartache, you know, trying to start the bike in the uh, springtime and they find out it's just ticking over. All right, got some other things to go over. Let's, let's go over some other cool stuff. All right, so the KLR is looking a little bit more <laughs> off-season appropriate. <laughs> All torn down. I will actually, you know what, I'm going to tear this thing down quite a bit. Every season, my first thing that I do besides getting the old battery ready and up on the tender is to just tear the whole bike down as much as I usually feel safe to do so and then get in there and do a deep clean because you can see there's a lot of like the perma mud <laughs> you know a lot of stories of really good adventures this year of me just chewing up the trails and being out in the mud ah, good memories and all that mud and I've been seeing a lot of really awesome adventures from you folks too you know it's been great seeing seeing the messages that you have over Instagram and all the stuff that you've been sending. And I will say one Island Rider, Island Rider Alec, up in Northern California, sent me some really, really cool photos of an awesome Gen 3 2022 KLR. It's 2022. I think it's a 2022. It looks like you got the Adventure Series um, on that, the Adventure model. It looks so nice. Oh, man. This guy's getting after it. 4,000 miles this season. Uh, for Alec. So well done. Congratulations, Alec. Great job getting out after that adventure. Thank you so much for sharing those photos. I'll put a few of them up here so everybody can kind of see. I love seeing that stuff, folks. <laughs> you know, that's what gets me going. That's what gets me motivated to be on the bike. Seeing other people's adventures and being thinking to myself, man, I want to get out on that. So I hop on the bike and I turn on the camera and I, you know, try to take us all along for it. And uh, I just really appreciate it. So if you guys have adventures, if you want to share your stories that you've found from this season, if you want to share some of the photos from your adventure, I strongly encourage that you do that. You can find me on Instagram. You can follow me there. You can send me a direct message through that channel and you can send me photos that way. Or you can take a look at the about page in the channel and there's actually an email address there. Uh, it's island.adv.moto at gmail. Dot com and you can send me your stories you can send me your photos of the adventures that you've been on I'd love to see them and I'd love to feature them on the channel updates that we have every month here because I feel like you know when we do that as a community when we get together like that it all inspires all of us to get out there and find that adventure no matter where we have it if it's on a KLR 650 if it's on a Ducati Desert X <laughs> if it's on a Tenere or if it's on a canoe or if it's in the woods and a hike all of that stuff is great all of that stuff inspires adventure so I love seeing it now talking about adventure the biggest news for this channel update is that next Monday we start our big winter trip series and that is harboring a secret. I cannot wait <laughs> to share that with you. Such a good adventure, man. Oh my God. Me and Brandon had such a blast. It was five days and it was just an amazing trip through Nova Scotia's Annapolis Valley and then up through the South Shore. Tons of camping on this trip. But Monday, we kick it off. We get together. We get the kit set up. We get it all sorted out. We get the bike packed. And that's what I like to do with these trip series. You know, the ultimate goal is that it's a longer series that takes us through the winter because the winter does feel a little bit long. You know, there's some cool stuff to the winter, but <laughs> for me here on PEI, the off season gets a little bit long. So I like to have that big trip series to get us through it. And it will get us through it this year. That's for sure. Normally these trip series are only like 10 episodes, but this one's like 13. So this is going to take us, I think, right up to March. And then we'll get back into like, you know, the fall type adventures that I went on. But this is good. We've got a lot of different stuff this year. There's a lot of stories to be told on this adventure. And there's a lot of really cool camping that went on in this one here too. We found some great wild camps. And my first time, and I think Brandon's first time as well, we stayed at campgrounds. <laughs> so I've got a lot of footage in camp, in camp there for you. Which is something I know you guys like to see. And you know, it's something that I haven't normally done on the on the channel, but I, I, I went the extra mile for a little bit. We fired up the cameras and we tried to capture a little bit of that in-camp vibe that we have on these big trips, which I do love. So Monday, kit check, 
Next episode after that, we hit the road, we're on to adventure. And that's the way I like to do this trip. Because like I've mentioned before, I view the subscribership here at Island ADV as one big ride group. And whenever I set out on a trip with the camera rolling, I always consider you guys to be like right there, you know? And that's just the vibe that I like to carry with this. And that's what I want this trip series to be about. I want us, you know, on Monday when the when it starts off to, you know, get together and we'll check our kid and then we'll load it up and then we head out and we explore and we discover these places and discover these stories together. And hopefully, you know, it inspires you to go out and check that out and do your own adventures as well. So I cannot wait to share that with you. It's going to be great. But as for me, I am going to settle into the off season. And like I mentioned, I will probably get bored with all the other hobbies that I have planned. And I'll do up some bonus videos for you. And I'll release those on Fridays. And I'll let you know when there's going to come down the pipe there through the community page. If you don't know that I also post little things on the community page of the channel. You can see that. There's like little bits of what's coming up and things that I'm working on there too. Kind of like the Instagram. I got a lot of cool stuff planned. I'm excited. What do you have planned for the winter? What are you guys looking to do? Do you got a lot of mods coming up for your bike? Do you have any hobbies that you do in the wintertime that you don't do in the summertime? I'd love to hear about it. I have a few of them planned. <laughs> a lot of them actually surround work 2.0. I'm going to be doing a lot of work 2.0 stuff uh, this season. And uh, just because I need to get in shape a little bit. I'm already on that quest right now. But anyway, for those of you who are not on an off season, for those of you who are blessed with perpetual adventure season and beautiful sunshine, I wish and hope that you're riding safe and I hope that you're getting after that adventure. And for those that are in the off season, I hope that you find a nice comfy place in the slumber of winter so that you can kind of relax, you know, and think about the adventures that are coming along. And trust me, we'll have new videos every day, every Monday here for you. So don't worry, I won't keep us um, lacking adventure on the, the channel here. Anyway. I think that just about wraps it up for us here today. This was a quick one, but I just wanted to get a few things across and just check in with you a little bit. I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get to work on cleaning the old box here. Like I said, lots of mud. <laughs> it's a bit of a job ahead of me, but I don't mind doing it. You know, might crack a beer, put on some music, kind of enjoy it a little bit. Anyway, until the next time we see each other, until the next time we're on the road adventuring, ride safe, take care Island Riders.